Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, and I guess we're going to call this the Great Sugar Beet episode. <laughs> That's what we're up to right now. This, uh, this tractor is taking the tops off, and then we're going to set up another one to start pulling the beets out of the ground. And then a cultivator to come clean it all up and think about what's going to go in here next. Though I've got to take a look at the... Uh, the map, it's quite possible it's due for a plowing. I'm gonna find out. Anyway, um, yeah, let's run this one for a while. Have not done that, although the rows are really straight. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna ruin it. Let's pop out of here and, and, uh, know that, that, uh, well, I don't know what letter she is, but, uh, worker Z. No, Z is for zombie. Is doing a nice straight job there. Anyway, let's hop out of here. Wow. One thing about perfectly straight lines. You get the halfway point. You've got the quarter diagonal. You've got the other diagonal. You've got one right in there. And you've got them even at the... Well, that would be the eighths and at the sixteenths. They make perfect triangles. It's interesting to watch the... The geometric uh, patterns that form. Anyway, enough of that little trip. Let's uh, head over here. About three in the afternoon. I'm gonna leave the speed the the speed of real time for a little while. Let's get lots done before it gets dark. Which one? And what are we doing? These guys here will do the other half of the uh, uh, the beach just fine. Turn my speed up my my volume up here a little bit. And let's get the DPI up. Actually, up a little bit more. Whoa, there we go. When it's dizzying, then it's right. Now, that equipment is sitting out here. Actually, they did flip around too much. Let me do... Okay, I can control that a little better. Okay, let's hook this guy up. He goes in the back side. He uh, connects like a trailer. Let's watch how this works. If we keep it at real time... We'll still have some day left to uh, work on the grass again, but I've got to be here for this. Ah, fingers are not used to this. Let's see here. Shift tab again. I've been looking at gaming keyboards. Let's see, I want the Q. I want the Q button. Gaming keyboards. I need the uh, the the letters lit up. The 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 keys lit because it's dark right there where my keys are because I've got this covered uh, a foam uh, separator between the keyboard and my mic so you can't hear the, all the key presses. So I need a keyboard that is quiet and lit up so that I can look down there and see where it were well, see if I can talk while I'm driving. But I've noticed that the gaming keyboards are all... Uh, uh, they've got re replaceable keys with different textures so that you can uh, throw a different texture on like the WASD so when I slide my hand away to hit something, I've been playing um, uh, Astroneer. And in order to build with that tool, you've got to hold down the Alt button. Now you try holding on the Alt button, then slide your hand back to the WASD real quick. It doesn't work. So a textured key would probably do a good job of, of finding it again. Anyway, enough of that. I need to think about what I'm doing. Let's lower this guy down. There it goes. And probably unfold, right? Yeah, there is an unfold. There is not. Is that move there? Nothing. It just undid the down. Okay. We'll go with that then. And what happens here? Let's go to the side. Turn them on. That digs out of the ground, throws it into here, which spins. Now let's watch it in action. Though I tend not to... Sorry, let's hire it out. Because I tend not to be able to run straight rows while I'm looking down here. Okay, so they're flowing through there, going along that circular uh, fan-like... Okay, it's staying inside the black area up above. So the lower one is just moving it around through the track. Okay. Continues around, jumps into 
this guy, there it is, spills into this circular one over the top, falls down into that one, and drops in. So where do we load from? Hmm. So if I were to hit the O, nothing would happen because I'm not in control right now. Okay, so let's hop back, or at least unhire, and hit the O. There it is. Okay, that guy pops up, and it starts to run backwards. Oh, I see. That's a separate system completely. It dumps in from this guy over here into the hopper, and then a separate conveyor belt starts dumping it out this side. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Let him continue his work. Him? Him. And jump out of there. That's helper E. He's already half full. So let's go grab the other case. Don't need anything uh, too strong for this one. And grab a trailer. Will we need two? It's very possible we will. And again, I don't know where to dump these. I'm going to have to uh, experiment with that. I've not dealt with these in this game, in this uh, version. I haven't dealt with sugar beets since Farming Simulator 13, I believe. I don't think I did much of that in 15. I stuck to other things. But this one, I want to do all the things. Whatever that turns into. Now, what is best here? I'm thinking it's better to have this one attached to me. It's harder to control, but he's impossible to control behind another trailer. Whereas if I can manipulate this one, I think I can manipulate the other trailer behind him. Whoa, doing the bounces. All right, cute. Yeah. So once I, if I can control him, I should be able to manipulate the other one. As if these were two, uh, oh, what do you, has a full grain tank, yeah. What do you call it? This is a dolly trailer. What is the other one called in, com in comparison? This one, let's see, i got to go the other way. Like that. Well, we're getting there. That's the right idea. <laughs> let's go empty them, and then we'll come back and and figure out this jigsaw puzzle. As long as he's sitting there waiting for me, we're still paying his wages. I should just go get a second trailer of that other kind and not deal with the dolly anymore. What would that be called? A dolly trailer? And I need to be on this side. Right? thought it was. I can't see the... Uh, oh, he's not going to pop it out until I get there. That thing crosses my path, so we got to be careful about that. And he spills outward a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, we got to be outside of that path. Filling up quickly. His hopper, though, is almost empty. Okay. So this... Three quarters of this load here. Of this trailer. Wow. Out of curiosity, I'm just going to prove something to myself. I'm going to take this over to our silos and just verify that they cannot interact with it. It wouldn't make sense that they could. Because you can't drop these through a, a grating in the ground. In 2017, you dump these into a pile, and a conveyor belt would come out of the pile and convey it into your trailer again that you can haul off to market, which we're not going to haul off until uh, we get a great demand or something. All right, so why should dump this? And it does not. Now let's look at the options. If 
I wanted to purposely dump onto the ground, unload is I. There's no Y involved here, so I cannot dump here. Okay. Now there is a way. If I hit the let's see mouse button. No. I thought there's a way to, or maybe it's because I'm sitting here. Will this change when I come down? It does. Now we can force it to unload here with the con left control I. Okay. So we need to find a place to force this to uh, to dump. But for right now, let's get this out of my screen. Let's see if we can hook this thing up. Normally I would do these by just cutting right across it. And at times I've even gone behind the other trailer and bumped them forward to kind of force them to line up. But this time I want to see if I can do it for real. Now I need to get... Okay, i got to go further. That's what failed last time. Okay. i got to force... Nope, yeah, that's the wrong one. i got to force the, the tongue that way. But not that much. Let's just say, with the dolly trailer, the slightest movement is exaggerated. It's the slightest little turn in the front will swing the back quite a bit of distance. Like that. Now pull back out. Full of grain again. Wow. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to unwind this thing. Kind of like that. Real close, at least. Okay, I think it's enough. Ah, we're in. Let's go dump him. And he's going the wrong direction. But I don't think it really matters with a root crop. You're not going to destroy it like you would, say, corn stalks. So, I won't pay too much attention to that on this one. Especially when he's only getting... What, like one and a... No. Three quarters of a pass? He's getting three quarters of a... Of a, of a circuit before he's full. So we're going to have to drive over this every other time. Or every every uh, third time. Whatever that works out to. Whoa. I hit? I didn't. That should intersect. He's going to fill up real quick. He was at 75% already. There it is. Now, will the other trailer follow enough? Right there. Got it. The uh, topper is almost finished. Wow, looks like an eighth of a row left. We'll see if she's willing to make that path, or it's going to have to be done manually. And I am feeling it. i got to switch tractors. That was, I had a hard time getting this thing. Uh, where's she going? Oh, okay. That's the illusion there. It goes further than that. Anyway, let's park this here and release. Let's see. G gets me to that one. Release that one. Let's go get the big tractor. This one's not going to do it. Not two full trailers. Oh, this is the one that has exaggerated steering. It's different from every other vehicle that I've driven here. Okay. And, oh, there's more there than I thought. From here, it looked like there was just, you know, barely a row left. But there's a row plus a barely a row left. So she must have, like, two full rows left. Oh! The green above it isn't the grass behind. She's actually got a dozen rows left. Okay, never mind. Let's get over here. You're going to be ready. Now, I can't just drive right up alongside. I have to give them time to get the, uh, the tube, we'll call it, out. Are you going to do it? No. You're not going to do it. 
Really? I'm in position. You're supposed to pop that tube out for me. Stop. But see, it, it's going to make contact now. Stop. Uh, there. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, just barely, though. Here? Now you're happy. Kind of. We'll pretend it's lined up just right. <laughs> no, no, don't look over there. One angle makes it look better. Oh well, we'll just get out of here. So we gotta dump this stuff. Where are we going to dump it? We don't have a lot of time to think. I mean, you can just put this right on the ground and buy the really expensive equipment to uh, pick it back up again. I wish I could have a right there a bay to dump it in but I can't really do it with the two trailers huh unless I just take over this one and I do a pull through no that won't work either that's not gonna work I'll show you what I mean uh, gee let's release this guy as hard as it was to get that there we're going to have to do... Well, actually, if we're going to do this, then I can... I can do it this way. Well, kind of. That was a little too far. Let me spin around again. Get everybody nauseous. You did take your Dramamine, right? Okay, right there. A little further. Right there. So, I want this way. And then pull out of it immediately. bit further. Up oh, too far. Got to keep that tongue as close to the center as possible. So you're only moving at the slightest little bit. Let's see, I want to go forward and this way. Okay. So a little bit of movement in the front is a lot of movement in the back. Okay, we're getting there. Like a herd of turtles were getting there. <laughs> Alright, something like that. I, let's see, left control I. Oh, that's a hard reach. I'll dump you right there. And we're not going to use this trailer anymore. It's been a fun challenge, but... I've, let's see, I. Hello. Control I. There we go. Back up. No more looking down at the keyboard can't steer that way. I'll take you here and Q. Alright. Let's not go through there. You can't do that with two trailers. Well, let's put it another way. I can't do that with two trailers. <laughs> with one, I could. So we're just going to fill up this bay for now. This one, I can control really is easy. It's like uh, just driving a regular trailer with your, with your pickup. Which I have done a few times. Let's see here. Left control, I. Back when I was in my early 20s, I rented a uh, the biggest moving truck that, that you're allowed to, to drive without a commercial license. And a car trailer and put my old... 67 Ford Fairlane Ranchero on the back of the car trailer, hook that up to the back of the, uh, or on the car trailer, hook that up to the back of the moving truck and drove that, uh, whoa, about, uh, boy, 1200 miles? What am I? About 1100 miles to move. And there were many times when I had to back that whole rig into place. What am I, what am I doing here for, for quantity? 40%, so two and a half of these. Okay. So two of these, and we'll go dump again. But while we're doing that, in fact, let me, well, turn them off, because you do get charged by the 
engine hours, and I'm pretty sure idling counts as engine hours. But right in the middle of it, he's going to come back and make lots of noise and won't be able to hear me. But I'm thinking that we're going to go ahead and we have 58,000 to play with yet. And I don't think there's much more for us to buy. I don't think. I think I do want to try playing with these guys. And I'm pretty sure what I want is these two right here, one and three. This will extend, although maybe it's one and four. You know, I actually don't know what three does. Um, from one belt to the next one, whereas this one to your trailer. Okay, this guy dumping into here, this guy dumping into the trailer. I think that's what we want. So we're $17,000 for an experiment today. If we had, well, we could use a front loader to pick these up and dump them into a trailer. That's, that's a very possible uh, way of doing it. Um, that's the cheap way of doing it, and that saves us our $58,000. There is that too, but I want to know how these work. This guy, I'm guessing, stays horizontal at this level, goes up, runs across this guy to this level, and then goes up over and dumps into the trailer. We don't have that kind of distance to, to travel, so we should be able to use this one and this one. Select, he's a trailer, we gotta think about how we're gonna get these home. Um, we can change the color. Should we do a Rambler Green? I think so. Bye. And back this guy. Twelve thousand dollars. They're gonna there's a lot more metal there. You're gonna charge me more Oh man. We can't change the color on this one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that was pretty uh pretty devious there. Got the extra hundred bucks out of us and then pulled the rug out from under us. Okay. We'll take you red. So we're set up for, for our Christmas episode next year. Back, back, back. Anyway, uh, full grain tank. Let's go take care of him. You are hiding back over here. I lost my pedals. There we go. And it's almost time to get the... Now, nah, we're going to go a lot further before we get the cultivator going. He's going to catch us in two passes. Um, I'm on this side this time. All right, let's get this in a little bit closer. Don't want to get too close, though. It'll shoot over beyond the other side. So it's, it's got a bit of an arc there. That's not bad. And we'll follow him to the end of the row. Hey, that topper missed some. Whoa, hello. Well, up on 80%. There we go. Alright, you happy? Kind of. If I can stay in one position. Alright, here we go. Let's go dump him. Whoa, I'm in your path. Sorry. Let's go dump him. And then what? Make a quick run and grab one of those? Probably not. Let's think about what else needs to be done here. I see we've already gone through another pass over here. What's in there, Neil? I'm trying to remember what we did. That wasn't it. Uh, shift tab. I want that one. What did we put in there? Soybeans and 15 is barley. Okay, that's right. So the barley and the soybeans have all advanced by uh, by one stage. Even though we are now set to slow, right? Plant growth is really slow. Okay. So I want to be able to do a few other things in and around these fields rather than spending this whole series just tackling these three fields. So we got we got other uh, other things to accomplish. Let's take this guy back. Even with this tractor, I'm having to floor it and just hold it for a while to get this thing moving. There's a lot of weight in sugar beets. Yeah, with this trailer I can redeem myself. Let's go off to this edge over here. And let's get into about there. Okay. I. Nope. Con 
control I. Gotta sprain those fingers stretching them out that far. Well, that was the wrong forward. Here we go. Okay, now we need to get back to the other uh, field to begin baling the tethered grass, but the rate we're going, I have a feeling we're not going to accomplish that this time. Hmm. Well, we'll see if I clip any of this out later. We'll see. Um... He's going to stop about halfway through that. He went this way. He came all the way back. He's about there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into position. I believe that you would use the really wide tires to be able to drive over something like this and not uh, not harm them. Completed their task. Okay. And the really narrow tires you put on to try to run in between rows while you're doing certain things. Oh, he's got his flasher on, so he's saying he's about full. Okay. Now, I wonder what he's driving. Like, let's just stop right here, hop out, hop in, and set his cruise control to maximum. Um, what do I want here? Three, two. Let's take that up. I keep forgetting that I leave some of these on six. I keep forgetting that the game stores that information. It didn't used to do that. You used to have to set that every time you got in. So I'm not used to to uh, uh, having it, it maintain that. All right, we're at 39%, so maybe he will actually go faster, which means we'll spend even less time in between uh, needing, needing to dump. Hmm. Sugar beets. Let's think about this. These guys. Worth only 212 right now. I'm thinking that's worth waiting for a great demand. We have any great demands going? I mean, we did, but I don't know when they expired. Now they all seem to be gone. I think they're in blue. So, really good price, a really bad price. And blue is a, a very short lived uh, uh, exception, I guess you might say. All right, he got from there to there, so we'll be needed again toward the end of the field. Over here. Now, what I don't know is if he can get that tube up fast enough if I'm already sitting in place. And then I want to set my cruise control. I'm going to guess it's going to come in at 6, but we'll go for 7. But as slow as that tube comes up, Will he make contact with us while he's still trying to, uh, to move it? And he should be programmed to be triggering that right now. Ugh, I don't think it would have made it, but we'll be fine. So he's driving at, I think, six miles an hour. So only three and one and one. There's five and a half, there's five, six. Okay, and I'm veering. There we go. That works. And I'll stop at the end while he finishes emptying. Oops, there we go. Alright, he's happy now and I'm in his way. Let's go dump this guy. Kinda nice having our own private road here. The shorter one, actually it's the one over there with the fertilizer and seed. We picked up another placeable like that. They've got the uh, the bays that are blocked off. We could use those for this very purpose. Store them in here. So another one of those somewhere. I kind of like that idea. Where at though? It'd be nice if it had some paving underneath it. I wish this game allowed you to pave 
the grass. I can change the grass to dirt. I, I don't think there's any way to really make a road either. Huh. Other than... No, I don't know how. Cultivated ground is about the closest thing I can come up with. So I could put another one of those placeables out over there in the grass. But you wouldn't want to put your, your uh, potatoes and beets into the grass. It would mold. You want them on a dry surface. Dry surface is our driveway, and I don't want to take that out. So, zooming in, gray is asphalt, or concrete. Probably asphalt. So, we've got the city. Road. There's the silage pits, which means this is going to look the same right here. I wonder if there's a section right here in this corner where we could put a placeable. And... You know, grab a field over here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing it, you know, the perfect place for that. Other than finding a place that already has um, this particular placeable. This guy. All ready to go on a concrete slab and then making that field the place to do the potatoes and the and the beets. Okay, I'm debating whether to buy that thing and place it right now and start dumping these there instead of filling this bay up right now. Because this is going to be here for a while. Huh. Well, let's go for this side over here now and start filling from this direction. Right there. Okay, well, we're on the correct side this time. Open says me. The engine speed picked up as the uh, auger required power. Interesting. I guess I could just let this sit here. Let's do that. Turn him off, toggle out to this guy. This row looks pretty good. Let's go put this equipment away. After we do this little touch-up job here. So, V and B. Uh, missed that one. Okay, any over there? Uh, v and B. Let's buzz over there and find out. That's right, we're, we're done over here. So we can get the cultivator in place and uh, get ready to, to run him. Or we can put the smaller cultivator in. Yeah, probably not. Let's do this. And did a good job cleaning up that end. Okay, BB. And he lives out where the. Uh, the combine goes, the harvesters, but we've already gone almost a full path. I don't think I'll get there in time before he needs to dump again. So we'll come right back to this. Let's go and do this. His beacons aren't flashing yet. Let him pass this over here. Oh, 
come on. I'm too impatient. Pass me, pass me. Okay, he triggered. Up here. And three. He just got in there. He's, his uh, flashers had just come on and went right back off again. Yep, six miles an hour, even though cruise control is maxed. Based on this piece of equipment. Okay, I'll take him all the way to the end. And peel off this way. Yeah, I'll skip the cultivating right now because I need to be in this area. And I'm always going to be in his way. And we've got an interesting... Oh, so those are tire tracks. I'm seeing the, the brown stripe over there in the area that's not been uh, harvested yet. Anyway, pop you off of there. Sprint over here. Let's go put this guy away. Where to? This is probably the first piece of equipment that I'll want to take out. So it doesn't make sense to put it in first. Although I could do the, the same routine that uh, I've been doing. Come in straight up the middle, then, then curve off to the diagonal. It was a little bit tighter in here. So that's not necessarily going to work when the harvester is in place, the, the big combine. Oh! So I cannot get my depth of field in here. Something like that. There we go. So this guy can be put away. And that'll be just about the right timing if we get another load of, of sweet, of uh, soy, uh, yeah, not soy and not sweet, sugar, sugar beets. Now in Banish, sugar beets make sugar. Let's see here, park him. Actually, one of the next things to do is put this trailer away. Or should we sell that trailer? You know, that's tempting. That is tempting. Get a little cash back for this and trade it in for another one. For the, uh, the non-dolly. Fixed? Fixed axle? I think that's what they call them. Yeah, I'll go with that. But let's go dump him. Oh, too late. He's ready. He's on the other side. Oh, I'm 83%. I should have dumped this last time. Okay. Well, we'll take what we what we can fit. There it is. Oh, oh. Alright, let's dump this off. So we'll go this way. And immediately get back out there. It'll be full again. Yeah, not much of a reservoir in that guy. Right, let's go for... I guess center looks like it's full. Um, let's go to the far end there. More like that. Okay. Yep, that's doing better. Not leaking through. Good. 
Oh. What? Why did it do that? It actually has a limit to its pile? That's interesting. I did not know that. And he's full. Okay. Control I. There we go. And then off to. That didn't work. Push the buttons again. There we go. Off to uh, load up again. Now, where is he? He is this direction. So, we come in from. Right over here. Okay. Trigger you. Go. Yeah, let's just go dump them. Got nothing else to do right now. There's not enough time to get off to the store and bring those pieces back. So I guess it'll be another episode that we actually demonstrate how that works. This will be the uh, the great filling up the the sugar beet pit <laughs> episode. <laughs> this episode is going to get a lot of names, but we're actually kind of running out of room. This is not going as high as I had hoped going to fill up this bay and be sticking outside. Still confused as to why that shut down last time. Let's see, control I. And uh, didn't empty the whole trailer. Turn off on its own. But what else is there to do while we're stuck here on the farm? Let's get the cultivator in place and ready. Now he, what did he do last time? He finished that one and he came back over here. So he's actually close, isn't he? He was, no, he was coming this direction. Okay, so he's going to do that. He's going to stop right about where I'm at. Huh. Well, well, we'll empty him, then we'll run out and get the cultivator. Won't, won't use it yet, but we'll at least get it on the tractor. Oh, that's this tractor. We can switch tractors. We're not hauling two trailers now. I think we can do that. And you see why I didn't want to drive the uh, the the harvester, the the, you know, the the beet harvester this time. Tiny little rows. Impossible for me to make straight. Lucky if I can keep this guy straight. Not run into him. Okay, let's hit the brakes and then hit three again. Move us better in a line there. Still have a little bit in the bay. No, nope. I see we're uh, just filling up in spurts now. So he's, his hopper's gone empty. Alright, let's just move forward, out of his way, run out over here, and just sit here and wait. Why are you backing up? That was interesting. Oh, the rocks. Oh. That's actually going to be a problem. No, not that one. Okay, well, we'll go through the circuit and find him. That's going to be a problem. Higher. Let's do something else real quick. Let's take off... What do they call... What do you call the uh, the outer rows? The headland? Something like that. I've not used that term before, but... Okay, um... Let's just... V and B. 
Let's clean up four or five passes back over here. Is that working? It is working. It just takes a while to get through the system. that tree at? Forward and backwards this way. There we go. So if we clean up several of these then uh, he'll be able to start his turn much sooner and he won't hit this rock over here. So a hired hand with a trailer, that's uh, a little different story than what we're used to. Actually, let's catch this one little sugar beet over here. Okay. And we'll do another oh, three or four passes in here, and that should leave him plenty of room to be able to make a, a 180 out there. Last one? I think so. Yeah, that's fairly straight. And we'll see how that goes. In fact, if I start him on this side, then we can start the cultivator on the other side. Ooh, that works. him out. We'll start a little bit back. You gonna do it? You're doing it. Okay. Let's dump him down. Fifty-one percent. Okay. And he's full. And Klaus was saying to, uh, whoops, yeah, this is that tractor. Klaus was saying to, uh, uh, when we get to the, the sugar beets, I am on the right side, right? I am not on the right side. 50-50 <laughs> chance and I blew it. That uh, be prepared to, to, to be glued to this thing because it dump, it, it has such a small hopper compared to the quantity. And that's one thing to keep in mind is that quantity. Remember what I was saying that uh, I, even though items like this are really low in price, you get five times as much as items like this, which are higher in price. So, I mean, if we did this whole field in canola, we would probably fill up this trailer one time maybe a little over one. How many trailers have we hauled out of here in these? We might actually make more money in this because we're probably looking at more of a quantity of 10 times. So, you know, a price of 2,000 as compared to the uh, uh, the canola. Hmm. So there's that to think about. It's not necessarily the most expensive crop until you work in the quantity involved. So, to me, it feels like they're all fairly well balanced. Whichever one you decide to jump into, it's going to do about the same purchasing power by the time you put it all together. Um, let's get this guy dumped. 
so he's ready for the next round. Then maybe we can get the cultivator out there. And I'm pretty sure that by the time we're done, these sugar beets are going to be clear out uh, in the in the rain. So let's see here. Let's jump out, grab this guy, grab the wrapper, and clear him out of there. Let's put some sugar beets in the back behind the pile. Where are you? I'm trying to stay out of the ceiling here. There? Yeah. And we'll just put this guy here for the moment. By the time we uh, get done with all this, he's going to be full again. Oh, turn him off. All right, back him up, and let's back him up the other way. There we go. Let's sneak around the side and tuck into the back. Well, theoretically, at least. I keep it close so there's room for the tractor to make that swing. Okay, decent. Oh, so close. Yep, that's as far as we're going. Okay. Control I. There we go. You're staying inside, right? Yep. Okay, that was good. Let's swing this way. And go empty him again. He'll be just about ready for us. You are ready? You are. I didn't see the pop-up. Now I want the other side. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm back. I just got an interruption and been gone for 10 minutes and now I'm trying to remember what I was doing. <laughs> hey, when that happens. So we're 40% filled and we've got a cultivator to go get. Dare I get it now? I think we do. Let's sprint this way. Um, that's right. He takes the big tractor. Hmm. So we'll haul it over here with the little tractor, then swap out tractors or something like that. Where's the other red one? I'm not seeing him in here. Oh, he's right over here. Yeah, let's grab this guy. Grab the cultivator, drag him out to that area, dump the, uh, the hopper one more time, swap tractors around, get the cultivator started, then dump the hopper again. That's all. <laughs> Hopefully this guy can at least drive him. I'm pretty sure he can. Right there. There we go. Wow, nice and shiny clean. Now uh, we can start the unfolding. Wow. Okay, there is a speed limit on these guys. Physics is real. <laughs> so is gravity. Did not like that hill. Alright, well, let's just kind of get him close to lined up. Then we'll swap out tractors. Something like that. Let's get him dumped. 
think he's still moving, but he won't be moving for long. Um, we'll just go do this real quick. Yep, he's flashing. We'll try. Though without him stopped, we may run into him. We'll see how this goes. Maybe he'll stop just before we get there. No. Nope. Have to back up. Okay, boy. He's real sensitive. You've got to be right almost to touching before he's going to open up. There we go. Dumped, but I gotta get that other tractor out of there. Okay. So let's just cue and release and hop out right into here. Get out of his way. Alright. He's ready for the next round. This guy to the cultivator. See, he had enough room to make his circle now by pushing uh, the field back. That was the plan. Yep, that cue is way too close to that tab. There we go. We hooked up. We did hook up. Hire you out. We gotta watch this guy. Otherwise, he will continue working. Pretty soon he's taken this end of the crop out long before we've gotten into there to uh, uh, to finish it. So we're just gonna let him work at it for a little while. I'm not gonna give him the full, uh, full reign on it. Okay, so this guy... Will he turn around... Well, let's see. He started to clear down there, didn't he? Yeah. So back. I don't think he's going to make it to the end. He's not. Well, he got close. Yeah, he made it. We didn't dump this, did we? We didn't dump this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We've got competition now. this edge and turn at the last second up oh, too far parallel to the wall something like that yeah yeah that's probably about as far as I can go That worked. Uh, that way. And he should be full before we get back. He's up there. And we're now cultivated, so I don't want to drive over it. Actually, a couple of interruptions this episode, so I'm not sure what my timing is. I'm probably not going to be able to finish this field this time. Maybe next episode we'll clean up the last little bit of this. Am I going to make it? Barely.
<laughs> all right, we got it all. So we're gonna leave this guy here, and let's let him start his next row. Then I think I will call this one done. Pretty sure I'm in that 50 to 55 minute range, but that's only a guess. I've been gone for about 10 minutes doing different errands in the middle of this episode. All right, so let's call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, next time we'll we'll finish this. Thanks. Bye-bye.